guys have more Bradbury? Some Ethan Bradbury? <sighs> yeah, guys. Uh, it's Poncho Cortez. What's up? Today, I'm going to be discussing Tip Top Pomade with you guys. So, just a quick background on this. This is a pomade from California. Um, this pomade, this particular one, which is the matte pomade, dropped about a month ago back in September. And I got my hands on it at Cool's um, shop in Los Angeles. And, you know, I just want to review it. So this is it though, I mean, it's a pretty cool pomade um, once, I get to, once I get to talk about it. But yeah, aside from that, this is it. So um, we're going to look at the container first. This is it right here. Um, for a kind of a basic design, honestly, it looks pretty sleek. I like it a lot. It's got a very sophisticated look. I love the nautical theme, and that is a plus one in my book, honestly. So decorative-wise, it's pretty cool. It's nice and sleek, um, you know, it's stylish. Hey, that's pretty good. The pomade itself has a very white appearance. It looks uh, looks like a cream almost. Application on this sucker is actually pretty easy. So right here, doesn't give you too much resistance. Um, the thing about this is that it's a very light pomade, and I'll explain that in a moment. But the scent on this thing is very, um, it's pretty sweet. It's almost like a dessert. Um, that's the best way to describe it because it does have a, um, has a coconut, uh, has a coconut, light spice, like almost like cinnamon, like light cinnamon, coconut kind of scent, and it's very sweet. I like it a lot. Um, definitely some perfect for the, um, for the fall time just because, you know, we're going to get a lot more desserts, things are going to be pumpkin spiced and whatnot, and this is like, um, this is pretty good. I like it a lot. So um, now that we've covered um, the actual pomade, the uh, the texture of it and whatnot is more like a um, creamy paste, you could say. It's creamy in the sense that, like you know, once you actually like dissolve it and whatnot, it's very um, very soft. It's light, but then like it kind of feels like a paste by the time you um, by the time you actually like um, rub it in your hands. Um, it does have lanolin and lanolin wax, which does give it that kind of a uh, paste feature because you know with with paste, you know, you get a bit more waxy and whatnot. In fact, that's actually what gives it the matte look is wax. Wax will definitely give you a matte look. But aside from that, this is the actual pomade itself. This is the appearance. It's not too bad. I like it a lot. It gripped pretty well, considering I'm just going with the side part today. Uh, full pompadour-wise, you know, it's not too bad. I liked it. Uh, side part, I prefer it with, honestly. Just because of how light this pomade is, um, one one thing I would recommend if you really want to get to work is actually after apply it and dry to your hair. Um, after you know it's kind of it's been in there for a while, wet it a little bit, recomb it, and then just like that, it's going to be a little bit more reinforced, which is something that I definitely like and kind of need, considering that I've got you know long thick hair. But aside from that, you know for a matte pomade. For a light, it's pretty good. I like it. It works a lot for my hair. So just a quick demonstration, you know, this is the way it looks. So up close, you know, this where you get to see it's very matte, you know. Obviously on camera it's got a high shine to it. That's because I got a lot of sunlight hitting me. But aside but you know, it's a matte pomade. Overall, I would definitely recommend this pomade for sure. It's pr it's really good, um, you know, for something that's really new. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, overall, you know, this is a pretty good water-based pomade. Uh, one thing I have to say, though, that's actually really good about a, a matte pomade like this, you know, you don't have to worry about it stiffening, stiffening too early, unlike uh, Suavecito Premium, the matte pomade itself, because that stiffened way too fast. Application-wise, it was pretty much a pain in the ass, too. Um... With this, the application is a little bit easier. Um, you still will have like little traces of it left in your hair. That's why you keep um, vigorously um, rubbing your hair and spreading it around, combing it, and then you're gonna usually spread it out that way and evens out. Aside from that, though, I mean, it's it's a good, it's pretty good. You know, it doesn't stiffen too fast. You know, it's actually really dependable. You know, I got my when I was in the car today, my hair got all messed up. I was able to recomb it just like that, pretty fast. Look at you split, done. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a good pomade. I would recommend it. You guys should definitely pick it up. 
Um, I'd also recommend you guys go to Cools if you live in the California, Southern California region. Cools is in Los Angeles at Little Tokyo. Tell them Poncho sent you. It's a really good place. But yeah, tip top. Check it out, guys. Quick thing before I leave, guys. Um, I was recently in a, a crossover video with my buddy Andy, who goes by the name Daxter O'Hannon on YouTube. He has a video gaming channel. You guys should definitely check it out. I was recently in his Outlast gameplay Full gameplay, it was all, you know, it was all four of us. It was my buddy Andy, myself, uh, Jonathan, and David. And my buddy Ray stopped by for a little bit, so it's pretty cool. You guys should definitely check it out. I'll have a link for it in the description below. Aside from that, though, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and peace. You're, you're done. Like, he doesn't come after you. All right, so... I know this part. Oh, no! oh! Oh! <laughs> Who the fuck? Who? The doctor. Oh, I you. do want to have doing this to you, but you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, you motherfucker! For you to win this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, God. Ah, uh, Motley. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Our Lord, the Wall Rider, telling his truth into the unbelievable. Look at that! I'm never dying. The only way out of this place. Oh, is the okay. Truth. So that makes sense now. This Explain that, so atheist. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. shit! What if I touch him? Hey, 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 buddy. Um, this is The Walking Dead. Hey, Andy. This is The Walking Dead, buddy. You're in the wrong show. <laughs>